Thomas Martin. And I'm Tom. And welcome to another Sam Proper Review. Yeah, welcome back. Yeah, we've got a quick one today. Yeah, only because you were excited because you had a new camera. New camera. Right. Let's see if we can get it good. Here we go. Fair Play from Steve Haynes, released by Paul Harris Presents. Um, that's been out now about a week. Yeah. Um, had a little time to play with it. And what you get is an ingenious little uh, gimmick here which hangs on your keyring. So you can carry it around with you everywhere. Uh, actually, they even thought of everything. You even get a little protective sleeve, a little clear protective sleeve that it goes in. So if you did want to keep it in pristine condition, not rubbing against all your other keys in your pocket, uh, you can carry it around in there, nice and protected. And they even show you on the DVD how to remove the keys from your pocket, leaving that in your pocket as well, which is quite a good idea. So anyway, you get the little thing, you carry it around with you all the time on your keyring. Uh, it's well, you can explain the effect, Tom. What's the effect? Well, it's a re it's a reinvention of a very old a very old effect. Um, originally called free choice, free will, free will. Then there's, <laughs> there's so many re re reworkings. Free will, uh, yeah. which is a the, the the effect is three items are placed on the table, mm -hmm. um, either yours or the spectators. They can be borrowed, which is another reason it's so strong. The spectator can then seems to take control and make all the decisions along the way. They'll work out which one they want to hold, which one they want to put away, and which one they want you to hold. Um, and right up to the last minute, especially with this ingenious gimmick, right up to the last second, they can change the mind, they can change the order. Uh, but it doesn't matter how they've done it, it turns out that you knew it the whole way along. And you should encourage them to change the mind yeah, as well. Absolutely. Uh, and have some fun with it, you know, play with them, say, you know, if you picked up the money. Uh, come on, you, you probably think everyone picks the money up. You can change your mind, you can keep it. So have some fun with them to change it around. Especially with the fair play version, because the gimmick does all of the work for you and it's so simple, you can really go to town with the performance. Yeah, um, yeah I, would, I would be hammering home. Make, I'd make them change it three or four times. Um, you can either perform it as a as you've influenced them to do it, or you can add it as a magical moment where you've, you've, that's, mm -hmm. you've made it match their, their, their choices rather than them following yours. Mm -hmm. It's a, uh, I was going to say it's an open prediction kind of effect, but open prediction is when you actually tell them what the result's going to be. So it's a closed prediction where, but it is out in the open from the very beginning. There's no switching of this or exchanging it for anything else. The key fob with your keys is, is left on the table. Uh, we'll let you have a good close-up of it actually, so you can see what it looks like. It's because it's got a new camera. Yes, yeah, so and we can see ourselves on the pitch out, so we've got a nice close-up of it there. Uh, and it hangs on your key ring, so you put the keys down on the table. And you proceed with the effect, they choose where everything goes, and at the end of the routine, you remove the uh, insert that's in there. And when they have a look at it, of course, the prediction is correct. Um, the prediction says, I have committed myself, so you've committed yourself to obviously what's sealed inside here. Uh, this, th this thing's actually um, reminiscent of one of these little photo frame things that you carry around on your key ring. Um, it's actually got photo here. Yeah, that's what sold it to me, because I was like, what, what is this? Mm. But the fact that it says photo here, it's only you the theme parks or when, um, when I remember going on a holiday and they'd come and take a photo of you at the table, they'd try and mm. sell it to you at the end. Um, it's like that. And then the crib is, is hidden in plain sight on the back, isn't it? It looks like a brand name, mm -hmm. um, but it's, it's there the full time, so you cannot, you cannot get this wrong. And once you've done it a few times, you actually remember which way yeah. to pull it out anyway. But when you're first learning the effect, you've got that extra security and you, that you just look at that crib as it's facing you on the table and you know exactly what you're doing when you remove this from it. Um, the, the prediction, it says I've committed myself and in this case pocket has card, uh, I have the coin, you have the bill. Um, the spectator can read the prediction every single time in, um, in one of the, it's called the advanced handling, but it's not really that advanced, it's quite easy to get the spectator to read it every time. Yeah. Uh, there's a very simple version, um, which one or the other reads it, which, which is fine. Piece. I'm, I'm both yeah. perfectly happy with that routine. Um, it's very similar to a similar effect that I do, the same, same outcome read the same way. Mm -hmm. What's so good about this is, it, people may not realise this from watching the trailer, it physically changes. So it's, as well as being a play on words, the words physically change. So on where, what you might have written on line one, in one performance, will be different and the performance too at different different tables, say, but it's the same gimmick. It's so clever, isn't it? When I saw it, I just played with it for 10 minutes just to watch it work. Yeah, the, the interesting thing with this is when you talk about the force and against of the spectator being able to read it every single time, because when you're actually out performing this, well, 
that I don't think this is the kind of effect that you'd want to do ten times at ten tables because they say, well, hold on, has he got ten of these? Did he carry them around? <laughs> and if yeah. he hasn't, then there must be something fishy about this. Uh, and then someone might say, well, how come he's reading it sometimes, you're reading it the next? But with the advanced handling, which is quite easy, um, you, they can read it every time. But then again, if you did it at one table and was correct, then went to another table and it was a different outcome and it was correct, again, I think it would draw suspicion to this. Yeah, oh, so definitely. That you're doing it. So I don't think it's really a table hopping. No, table. it's more of an afterthought. It's when you've got your bag on and your coat on and they say, oh, thanks very much, I'll so and so missed you because he was out smoking when you do this table. Have you got anything else? And you can think, well, yeah, actually, have you got a note? Have you got a, uh, a, card, a card or a coin? Yeah. Um, yeah, actually, to mention the, no the note thing, there is a version coming out that says note, the one that's available at the moment because we're looking at, we're at the end of November now. We are. Um, the only one that's available at the minute is the one that says bill. And the way to get over that in the UK is quite simply to have a, a restaurant bill or a bar bill or something in your wallet. Or if you have got, most magicians have got, let's say, a dollar bill kicking around. Uh, or even a fake bit of play money that might, you can get million dollar bills currently like joke money. So yeah. if, if you didn't happen to have anything around that resembled a dollar bill or an electricity bill, utility bill, it could, could be anything. If you happen to be eating out and you're in a restaurant and the bill comes, and you haven't got any of the magic on you, you could use that as a bit of an impromptu. Hey, and the bills just come, hey, tell you what, we'll do this with a bill, a coin and a card. So you can quite easily get over the bill handling, but everyone in the UK, not everyone in the UK, but people in the UK are looking forward to the note version coming out because you can do it with the money then and then a 20 pound note or a 10 pound note makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. Uh, so that'll be available fairly soon. Um, as far as um, ratings, we'd like to give these a, a sort of a working rating and a um, hobbyist type rating. Uh, do you want to go first? Well, it's difficult, it's not difficult. The, the DVD quality and the, the gimmick quality is outstanding. Um, and the way the gimmick works with a little bit of practice, don't just get out of the box and try and run with it. Do take your time to just get used to the handling so you haven't got to think about it, then it's all in performance and you're looking at definitely, um, you, you wouldn't repeat it, that's what you said. So that would stop it being a five. You wouldn't do it all the time, every time. But with the quality, the price point as well, how much is it? Yeah, it's only 28 dollars Yeah, I should mention that actually. We've got free shipping on it at the moment as well, which makes it even better value. And really, for what you get, we, we were talking earlier about this, you can pay a, you can pay a lot more than 28 99 for a trip nowadays that is just a DVD. Yeah. And you're getting a, a beautifully custom-made gimmick that's going to last you. That's right. Or does maybe, all the work for you. Yeah, or maybe yeah, just a simple card gimmick or, you know, a standard gaff sometimes. Yeah in a DVD, you don't need to say gimmicks included and all you get is maybe a double back card or something like that. Uh, but this, for the price, yeah, you're getting it's, something it's that's beautifully amazing. engineered and works and takes all the hard work out of the effect. It's got to be, it's got to be a four. It's got to be a four. Just yeah. the quality alone and the fact that it will always work and won't let you down. And it is a hard hitting effect. Mm -hmm. um, I'd agree with that. It's not something I'm going to rush out to perform at every time. It's something that you carry around with you. As you say, use it occasionally. I'm quite set in my ways with a very similar performance style that I, that I use um, this kind of routine for, but yeah. It's um, um, from a hobbyist point of view, I think when you look at um, getting a new magic trip, opening up the box, you're pleased with what you get. Yeah, you're not going to be disappointed when you open it. No, it's, it's definitely a nice moment. You see, you've got something that's tangibly been made very yeah. well. If you've bought this for the effect and have no idea how it works, you're going to be amazed aren't you? The, the actual it's it's almost futuristic when you see it happen um, and it resets pretty quickly as well yeah. it's not an instant reset you do need to you could do it walking from one group to another if you were going to perform it for two different groups it only takes a, a few seconds no, to reset once reset you know it. once you get it mm. i struggled with it the first time didn't i and then you, you pull it out a bit and yeah it's perfect yeah so so it's quite easy to reset and um yeah, so I'd say from a hobbyist point of view, <coughs> if it was a, a five star, it would be something that you'd be growing your mate down the pub saying, well, you've got to see this fantastic effect. I don't think it really makes five, but I think it, <coughs> excuse me, it's certainly at least a four. Yeah. It's approaching the point where, you know, it's about as much as you could expect from a magic trick. Um, it's a good effect. Uh, it is puzzling for the spectator to think they have all those choices. Uh, to change things around and the, the, the outcome has been exactly Yeah, they couldn't make any better either when I think about it. Mm -hmm. There could be slightly more live stuff on the DVD, but this doesn't really need it because you know how it plays out. Mm -hmm. 
Um, there's, there's no point in us demoing it for you now because it would look like we could have just made it up. That's or right. preset it. Yeah, so. and so you could easily put whatever you yeah. want in your pocket. So there's no point actually going through the routine now because it wouldn't be generally, or it would have been generally random, but it wouldn't be worth wasting your time no. with a basic routine for it. So if you like the demo, uh, the gimmick's ingenious, uh, it's well made. Uh, we have actually opened up and checked every single one uh, to make sure that they're functioning before they get shipped out to you. Um, we have heard that uh, the odd person has had one that maybe wasn't working properly, which is why we went to the trouble of opening them all up and checking them. Uh, and we haven't found any no. in our batch. I've had two people honestly ring me up and say they've had a problem. One I sorted out on the phone because they weren't quite using it properly. Um, and the other one, even after talking to them, said they had a slight problem, which is possible. So it's coming back and I, I'm going to be quite interested to see what actually is wrong with it, if there is anything wrong with it, because it might be user error. Because we have opened all the ones up that we've uh, got and they're all absolutely fine. So, but for extra peace of mind, you haven't got to worry about that, and they have all been checked. Yeah, so we know it works before you get it. Yeah. Uh, so a little bit of extra peace of mind there, so there's no disappointment when you open all the box. Okay, so that's fair play. Well done, Steve Haynes. Great product. Uh, I think everyone's going to love it. If you like the effect, um, I don't think anyone's going to be disappointed with this. No, 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 definitely not. No one's going to struggle to perform it either. So this is really one for getting your confidence up in dealing with spectators. Mm -hmm. um, especially if you if you don't know, do anything with borrowed items, this is a fantastic impromptu effect. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you want to know about the note version when it is available, uh, get on the mailing list, uh, top left hand side of the website, um, mailing list for offers and news. So get your name into there if you're not already registered and you'll find out when the note version is going to be available. So thanks for watching. See you later. Tune in next time. <laughs>